scour the city for a chance to get your hands on an original piece of art. Here from Paint Imagery is Susan Green, who wants to put you up to the challenge. So this is a first for STL TV Live, and we're going to talk about that challenge in just a minute. Okay. But first, let's talk about Sue and Paint Imagery. And you've been an artist in St. Louis for quite a while. I have. I created the perfect occupation in 1989, so I've been doing it 26 years. Hey, wait, wait, stop you right there. Okay. Why is it the perfect occupation? Because it sounds hard to me. <laughs> uh, well, okay, I was an architect for 10 years, uh, was not passionate about it. So I honed my artistic side and um, met with interior designers and builders and other architects. And what I do actually is create, uh, it's, people know it as faux finishing, but it's mm -hmm. so much more than that. It's, mm -hmm. um, I take paint and I um, create different unique finishes that possibly other um, artisans like myself don't do. Um, I do historic uh, preservation projects. I do gold and silver leafing and uh, intricate murals and hand-painted furniture. And so that kind of leads into this. I also do art on canvas and because um, I really truly love what I do and I'm excited about it, I decided to do um, find the art. So this piece is, um, I've been given clues, is going to be placed somewhere in St. Louis and I'm going to sit kind of far away and watch and see how long it takes for someone to find the art. So today, after the show, mm -hmm. um, this will be placed in a location in St. Louis mm -hmm. um, and somebody's going to be able to come and take it and there's a little note on the back that says, take me with, right. a, with a note inside from you. Yes. So, and that's an interesting social experiment too, to see yes, if somebody sees a beautiful piece of art and really believes they can take it. Right, <laughs> right. So we're yeah. going to see, it could take a while, mm -hmm. but I also have been um, sharing on social media, and like right now. So today it may be taken quicker. Okay. But in the future I'm going to do it every two months. So really? the next one will be July 1st. Okay. Um, and so it's going to be placed somewhere differently, and I may not give as many clues, and then I'll be able to watch to see how long it really takes. And this will be promoted always on your Facebook page? Mm -hmm. That's the best way, so people mm -hmm. need to like you on Facebook right. in order to become a recipient of a free piece of beautiful art. Right. Okay, so yes. that's super important. Paint, yeah. Im paint imagery yes. is your Facebook? Okay. Yes. All right, very good. So, so the work that you do, and when you talk about historic um, uh, preservation type of painting and that kind of thing. Mm -hmm. Does it? Do you do it all by yourself, or do you have a crew? I do do it all by myself. Mm -hmm. um, like I said, I've been climbing ladders and scaffolding and two-story ladders for 26 years. I love it, and um, I, I meet with the client. I do the estimates. I follow through. I schedule, and I do the actual work. And and I've seen some of your work in person. Mm -hmm. um, and it, and what it does, it provide it. it creates almost, instead of just a painted wall, um, a different dimension in the right. room, but it's subtle, right. usually. Right, mm -hmm. right. It brings dimension whether there's an actual thickness to it or not. Mm -hmm. it, it gives the, the area depth and um, accents certain rooms and um, two-story foyers yeah. or powder rooms are fun or yeah yes. yeah so yes so you've got all the tricks of, of the trade and can do it all when when I can do none of it when it comes to painting <laughs> that's what we have you all right so yeah. um, so but, clues are on Facebook and uh, paint imagery for the um, art for the taking which would be today mm -hmm. at five o'clock mm -hmm. and it's somewhere in the central west end yes First clue, Central West End. Second clue, so I've been doing this over the course of weeks, so it may sound repetitive, but uh, one of my favorite places, not an eating establishment, and this will give it away. It's one of Mike Matheny's favorite places as well. All right, there you go. You heard it here. Okay, there's a bit more STL TV live after this break, so stay tuned.